Hello, this is our 1993 4.3 liter uh, Merc Cruiser um, in inboard outboard motor. It's in a 20-foot uh, bay liner. We're having some uh, spark issues out on the river and uh, we were able to diagnose down to this unit right here, which is the um, timing control module. What it's, kind of spark issues were you having? Uh, the spark issues were there was no spark or little to no spark. Um, it started off with weak spark. So we uh, went over and we replaced the coil here, thinking that that would help fix the problem. It did not. And then when we removed the um, cover on the distributor cap, there was this sensor inside. Um, the way we could diagnose this sensor was by taking an ohmmeter and checking the resistance on it. So right here, I have uh, ground. And we're gonna hook one wire up. Okay, what's that measuring? Six megs? About seven six, megs. Six, seven megs, yeah. That seems to be changing around over time. So that was a green wire relative to the black. Now we're checking the red wire and there's zero mags on that there's um yeah infinity mega ohms on that one oh let's see Are you touching it it touched my finger i think okay so yeah, yeah. so it's high impedance That's wait, wait. Okay. Okay. so now we're testing the new part and um, we have it already installed, but we're making the video after the fact. You do not need to have it hooked up. Um, we just took the black negative and the red wire. We're measuring the resistance on that. And what do we have? Six, um, six, six, six megs. megs. And so on the broken one, it wasn't six megs. I think it was infinity. The older part, it was infinity. Now on the newer part, the green wire, we're reading what? 334? Um, now we're reading about 340 kilo ohms, um, and then we have the uh, the black wire going to chassis ground, so we're just connecting to chassis ground relative to the red and green. So it looks like there is a a resistance difference between the red and the green, and hopefully that will help you troubleshoot your broken ignition sensor.